Terrence Mann may be having the best scoring stretch of his career, better than 14 points over his last five, as we are off and running here in Phoenix. Introductory press conference. A palpable buzz in this city as DeAndre Ayton left it short. Here comes Mann. Has some help in Subas. Well, it's different now because I, I think you, you front load your schedule, so you're playing the bulk of your games early, so you don't have a lot of time to make up for it. It's hard for the beautiful. So a five-point Clippers lead as we cross the eight-minute mark. Look at Zubats getting out against Booker. Man in the open floor. Hard right-handed flush. Well, the beautiful part is that Monty Williams already had a relationship with him based on OKC, but also USA Basketball. So right. the mindset and understanding is there. Paul George able to knock him. That's the thing we keep our eye on. Wouldn't they stay in flow in the offensive end? Dennis just likes to get those DMV records. <laughs> of course, can. you know that's real. You know that's real. This is Terrence Ross, who just acquired off waivers Wednesday from Orlando. This is his Phoenix debut tonight. Gets it to Aiden. Yeah, a great opportunity. I had a chance to talk to him for the game. I know him very well, along with his agent. That's a young fella. Do you understand your opportunity as Terrence Ross knocked down a jump shot? Who will provide some of that scoring burst, Jim, with that reserve unit here for Monty Williams? And Terrence Ross, a guy who has filled it up in his career. Gordon able to draw contact, puts it down, and he's fouled. So seven-point Clippers lead as we hit the final 60 seconds of the quarter. Paul George splits two with a bounce. This is Plumlee. Out to Highland, he can stroke it, splash! Eight straight for the Clippers, 10-point lead. And the pass, a little simple pass, but it wasn't made easy by a seven-footer off the dribble. Beautiful shot. He's leaving it with his left hand, and I love it. It, it really is one of the craziest things in the league. So unorthodox as Terrence Ross misses a three. T.J. Warren gets it back and puts it down for Phoenix. Because it's not normal for a guy to come in to the league or his whole life shoot one way. I think Tristan Thompson did it one time in Cleveland. Five-point game, early stages, second quarter. Just a half game separating these two teams in the West. That is Gordon. Houston with Harden and CP3 as Paul George turns it over. This is a Kogi, little Euro step, beautiful finish, right to the rack. Six point game, and Lee takes it back. A little bit of a spurt by the Suns, they've cut it to four, and then Phoenix, another steal. Unbelievable, as the Clippers suddenly get awfully sloppy. Josh and Kogi, cash money. That is a us problem more than the Phoenix Suns issue, you know? Basically explains the season, all the craziness that they've had. What a pass! Surgical was Booker getting it to Biombo. Well, this fan base, this city doesn't need much more to get energized after the last couple of days. What a shot by George. As we come up on the midway point of the second quarter, Booker into the corner for a Kogi. Start to play with some confidence. Left-handed finish. Now Monty Williams is trying to temper expectations. Zubats! There's been a lot of talk that the Clippers are in the, the buyout market, maybe for a backup point guard. Look at that finish by Okogi. So Phoenix's lead short-lived, at least for the moment. Paul gets it to Ross, knifes in, and he is getting right to work with his new team. What a setup by Paul, but Aiden just couldn't finish. Leonard mm, with a tip in by Zoom. He is playing extremely well, understanding his role as a player, which is the key to NBA. And let's see if the mindset changes for the Clippers to kind of get back on the road they were at the beginning of the game. Guarded by Craig. Here's Leonard. Can Kawhi Leonard get his offensive game going? 0 of 8 shooting if you've just joined us for Leonard in the first half. That is George. On a masterful three-point stroke, 14 for PG-13. And a quick answer from the corner by Craig. George nearly another turnover. Clippers a home winner Tuesday. This is Mann swooping in. Right-handed finish. 34 out of a potential 61 games. As they try to maintain that knee. Beautiful looking shot and contact from Booker. As Kawhi misses on the baseline. Well, Booker has never had that dynamic score on the other side of him. 
he's always been able to do this. When they need a basket, when they need a jolt in the arm, they don't, all those things add up to making winning plays and putting yourself and your team in a situation to compete for a championship. Aiden off the pretty pass from Paul. How quickly can the Suns put it all together? And we'll wait. They hope will be a deep run through the postseason. Leonard, beautiful drop off to man. Suns have to hurry. Okogi turns it over and then rips it back from PG-13. They get it to Craig. Corner three. Splash. Just days after, Jimmy, he makes one of the splashiest moves in recent NBA history, wasting no time to put his imprint on. That Kevin Durant brings offensively is powerful, but he doesn't do that as a leader. Chris Paul will remain the vocal leader of this team. I think that's very important because you don't have two different forces allowing the switch to happen and then Aiton to get in proper position to receive, catch, and finish. Kawhi Leonard pushing for the Clippers. There comes Leonard, turns the corner, going glass, and he's headed to the free throw line. In his Phoenix Suns debut. I tell you what, this is a move that quietly happened across the league that nobody really talked about, and Kawhi Leonard able to get to a spot. 27 games in which they've had both Leonard and Paul George. How does this one end here tonight in Phoenix? A little bit of a knuckleball delivery from Saban Lee, but they'll take shot clock still at 10. This is Gordon weaving through traffic. Gordon, beautiful wrap around Phoenix Plumley, And they're going to be keys to coming off the bench for both teams. But you made the point when we were talking at a halftime about this and Paul George with a nice shot, that being professional has value. The additions with Gordon for the Clippers and Terrence Ross for the Suns could prove dividends for both of these two teams hoping to make deep postseason. I know there's big grumblings here about Lee not being invited to the three-point shooting contest. Beautiful little floater. That's Bones Highland. Second game with the Clippers. And he's pushed LA's lead back to nine. So Highland with seven off the bench. This is a Kogi. Corner pocket three for Phoenix. How good has Josh Jacoby been tonight? Look at his numbers. 21 points. Making only his fourth start of the season. George taking on Biombo at the summit. Chris Paul has just tied Michael Jordan for third place on the NBA's all-time steals list. 2,500 and Paul George. Booker, tough defense from Gordon, and he goes glass. Get it back here. But you just see the, the quickness of Paul George. Incredible, Jimmy. Look at man as his monster night continues. Early in his career, there were gaps and shots he wouldn't see. The game has slowed down, and now he's making plays just like we saw in transition or in the half court set. He's speaking about making plays. Deep book. In the Western Conference standings with Phoenix holding just a half game lead over the Clippers. This is George. Gets to the elbow. That mid range. Elite level shoot. Ty Lue is going to have to work through. They've got eight weeks, Jimmy, to figure it out. But what a, a bunch of additions that they've made. Look at Booker. Right handed scoop, and he'll have a chance at three. As we approach the final two minutes here in Phoenix, Leonard maintains his feet, puts it down. That was my goodness. 13 for Kawhi. And the Clippers trying to give themselves some breathing room, but Aiton with a quick answer. Gordon, no rush, gets it to George as the Clippers reset. Seven to shoot. Paul George, 26 points. What a pass. Zubats back door to man. Clippers trying to run that clock. Final 60 seconds, shot clock down to two. What a matchup between Paul and George. Leonard flicks it up and in, and he's headed to the free throw line. I got a chance to cover his team all year. Much different look. Now we're able to see 